right, everybody, welcome back. Today, I want to make a video teaching you guys how to download ZML, Kino, and Cargax itself. Now, this is something that might seem easy to someone who has played the game or done this before, but even for me, I, for a while, had to still ask someone else to help me kind of do this process as a new PC gamer. So we're going to start from the very base of it all and download Carx. So here on Carx, I'm just going to click install. I'm going to create my desktop shortcut and install it. I want to show you guys from this very beginning part because um, it might just make it easier for you guys to follow along. So I uninstalled everything of mine. That's why you see all of these things on my desktop. But I uninstalled everything of mine to... Uh, be able to reinstall it all for you guys so that you can see exactly how to do it step by step. So I'm gonna just go ahead and let the CarX install here. We're back. It was about like two, three minutes. It also, you know, it depends on your internet or anything, but whatever. We're back and the game is just validating now and you want to make sure that over here it's gonna say moddable. You want to make sure that this is moddable or this the next part's going to not really work. If you go to properties, you can go to the betas and see that it says that it is moddable. So make sure it's just unmoddable and you, you'll be able to see it over here. So now we have the game downloaded and the next step is going to be going and actually getting Kino and ZML. Now Kino and ZML, to get them, the easiest way is to go into their discords. I'll link them down below, put the link on screen, whatever. And the f I'm going to go through each one individually, but if you do it through ZML, I'm pretty sure it downloads Kino with the ZML download. Uh, and you don't have to, like, you don't have to uh, go through and, and download Kino separately. But I'm going to show you both ways. Uh, and we're just going to start off by getting Kino here and we're going to visit this site. And then you're going to download the Kino, uh, whatever the latest one is. And if, if you have to like update it, it'll work the same way where you go get the latest and then just kind of re oops, kind of replace these files. So here it is here. And then while I'm at it, we're also going to go ahead and grab our ZML, the latest ZML file to install. Here we go. So you're going to want to grab your ZML bundle. And this, as you can see, comes with pre-installed Kino PRM. All that stuff so yes if you do i, I wasn't 100 sure so anyway you're gonna go ahead and grab this and you'll see the zml bundle will download so now we can close out of that we're not going to need that we can also kind of close out of here and you're going to go ahead and open up your file and you'll see here in downloads you'll have this I i'm going to delete the one kino because i accidentally <laughs> grabbed it twice and then the easiest way you're going to want to get to your carx files the easiest way to do this is to go into steam Click on the cog wheel thing here, click on manage, and then browse the local files, and it'll take you into just your CarX files. This that's the easiest way to get there. Um, and or you have to go through like all your comments. So I just recommend you do that. And then first we're going to go ahead and you're gonna make sure you have an extractor downloaded seven win, I believe is what it is. Uh you just go and do that through Google. I guess I kind of forgot about that step, but uh if you go in file extractor download seven zip is and then you just go through and download 7-zip and it'll pretty much or like WinRAR or whatever uh and then you can just download your 7-zip i believe that i have 7-zip you have to download that uh if you've played anything else you probably already have it but anyway so you need to have the 7-zip you want to extract your files and it's going to extract into here with the kino and the win you know whatever the hell but all you're going to do is you're going to slide over top of these for kino and you're just going to slide them into there okay and then you have your Kino, you can check out and you see that you just have this simple Kino stuff in there, okay? And then, once we, ha we have looked into the Kino side of things, we can come over here and go to ZML bundle. You're going to extract your ZML bundle and it's going to pop up into the extraction of the Z ZML. Obviously, it's going to be a little bigger. And here, you're going to slide over top of these things, slide them over, and then replace the files in this destination. And then you're going to have this, uh, the Bepinex file here and it'll have your plugins, it'll have your core, it'll have all this stuff. Back in the day, this is why I feel like there needs to be an updated one, um, that you had to slide in stuff into a Bepinex file. Now that stuff is already in the Bepinex file, so it makes it a little bit easier. They simplified it a bit to be able to download it. So now that you have those things to where they need to be, you should be able to open up your CarX and it'll say you welcome to your ZML. It's been updated. Welcome to ZML 2.0, whatever the latest release is. Uh, and then it says to check the Discord for more info. And then it says new Kino installed and it'll tell you the latest stuff about the Kino. And then your game will launch up. So this is just downloading though, but you're not going to have the extent of mods that you will have. Uh, 
that that you'll see other people have like the sky boxes the presets the custom cameras custom stuff right these in in sorry whenever you load up quickly you'll see the welcome to the zml or if you just have kino to say welcome to kino so uh now you have to kind of load up the game let everything load in and then i'm going to show you guys how to actually download the mods the uh the presets all that stuff tunes whatever all that good stuff cool beans and then you press f4 to open kino and f8 to open zml or now actually you can just slide up on zml so but if we go in here and we want to load a preset for graphics or load a skybox or anything we have nothing to load so we need to get some stuff to load i personally think i have quite a mean kit of of stuff this is what all this stuff is here so what we're gonna do we're gonna open up our files sorry we're gonna go back to this and you're gonna go and you're gonna boom and you're gonna go to property Oops, no properties you're going to go to manage and you're going to go to browse local files and then you're gonna click on zml if you have kino it's a little different but I'm gonna assume that most of you guys are gonna want ZML. So if you have ZML, you're gonna click on ZML and you'll go, you can go to mods and you'll see KN base, PRM, and RCN. The only one you really care about is KNN. And this is going to allow you to change things like your cameras. So I have some custom cameras that I'll download in, uh, in here and I'll, I'll show you guys that really quick. So I sent them to myself. So I have some, I have, Two custom cameras or something right so if we go to the top you'll see burn cam that can't see <laughs> and then burn cam oops so what i can do is i can just download these two things really quick oops and then when i come back here we'll open up a new file we'll open up a downloads file and when we come here we're gonna see that i have these two cams and i'll click here on the cams and I can slide them in. So then I have those cameras in there. Uh, and then another thing here is custom maps. Yes, they brought workshop into the game and that's awesome. But for example, there's certain maps that aren't in the workshop like this VDM uh, map here. And I download it through, you have to download it just th through like a discord server. So I can send you guys this file here and you can download uh, that and get that download it but then you have tunes and visuals this is this is the big part of kino that is kind of nice to be able to do and and replays aha that's what it is it's a replay so we can slide that into there for the replay side of things and then really the only other we have hud let me get the hud burn hud so i can take my hud here download the hud and then we'll go back and do the same process, except for I closed the file. Why would I do that? Then we can click on HUD. We can come over here. We can highlight the HUD, just the HUD, and slide it across. And then I have my HUD back. So what I like to do with this as well is uh, I like to pin my ZML. I like to click on it and I like to pin it to the quick access over here. So instead of having to go into Steam or having to hunt for the file every time, I can just click on the ZML over here and it'll take me right into this important stuff and with the mods files and the other files so the only thing left here that i really think that i use in um kino is to save my tunes so i'm just gonna grab my three tunes that i had saved um that i uninstalled and then i have three liveries burn live burn live and burn live so so that's it that i use for um kino and you'll see all this other stuff this is going to be through zml zml has a different set of like sky boxes and things like that so now what i can do is reset this and i'll slide into tunes i will grab the tunes one two three tunes i will slide them over into here i will grab the visuals i will grab the one one two three liveries visuals is liveries by the way and i'll slide those bad boys into there you also see your your um, sticker packs and stuff like that in here so that is all i use for kino and so now when i go back into the km base the other thing you're gonna see oops sorry when i go back into zml the other thing you're gonna see is graphics and you're gonna see presets and skyboxes presets and skyboxes are presets are gonna be these guys your sunset your sad your pack sun your <laughs> all of this starting at one two three down so if you guys want these it's kind of hard to find them 
in the ZML Discord, there's a couple in the preset sharing um, and the skybox sharing. But to be completely honest with you, I got these from um, whenever I first started playing and I got just a file sent to me with all of this stuff in it. And I cannot find it in here. I had to scroll back through old messages uh, to, to find the file that someone had sent me with all this stuff. And hey guys, so I downloaded all of those and then we're going to click on, remember, we're going to click on ZML, we're going to click on graphics, we're going to click on presets. And then I'm going to open up the file where I just downloaded everything, the downloads file. And I'm just going to go through, I'm going to select all of these presets, a, a one, two, three, all the way back. And then just slide them in here and I'm literally good to go. That's it. And then for the skyboxes, we're going to do the same thing where we have to download them. As you can see, I have them over here, uh, but I downloaded them all. Again, you can get them from me if you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and I, I mean, I swear some of these you can only get from me. Upside down clouds, I couldn't find anywhere. It's such, such a beautiful preset. Um, or skybox, sorry. But then you have those into your skybox section and it's just easy as that. You download them and then just slide them into that setting in graphics or that section in graphics. Now, the f one thing I noticed recently was that whenever they changed things, they made it so you couldn't before you had you would go into mods, you would go into KN base and then you would put it into presets and skyboxes here. That's not how it works anymore. Uh, unless you only have Kino. If you have ZML, you have to put it into this graphic section, like I said. So just make sure you paid attention to that. And then I'll show you guys whenever you go ahead and launch up your game. Here we are. Back here. And we can go... <laughs> so we can now uh, click on... I can't click on custom HUD and camera. I'm, I'm literally drunk. So we can click on things like rain. And we can turn on rain in here, which is, which is super nice. But the key that we really just did was taking presets and now you can see we have all these presets that we can turn on okay and they look weird and in, in this thing they look they look very weird in the in the hud and then with the presets we have for example let me put on this clean preset and then we can click on skybox we can change this to an hdri based sky and then we can load a skybox and now we have a custom skybox in the sky this is more of the chill one upside down clouds is pretty clean pretty chill and uh there you go now you have a pretty looking game and it's it's a pretty simple process to download kino and and get this stuff in there but it can seem very confusing at first so my gtr yeah see my gtr looks naked because i did, haven't finished downloading these why do i keep clicking on that i haven't continued i uh, haven't finished sorry i haven't finished downloading these sticker packs so i'm using sticker packs from this stuff that uh, I don't have. So it'll, it'll actually be interesting to see if as I download these sticker packs, you'll be able to see some stuff up here. All right, guys, so I'm just finishing up downloading the last sticker pack. Taking a little bit. So so it is quite tedious, uh, I must admit. But as you can see, um, the car is still naked. But whenever we go in here, we'll go to visuals. You can load slash save design. And then you can load a design, and as you can see, this is my GTR11 burn file. And then you can apply the design, and as you can see, here's all the custom liveries now put on. Also, you can go to Tune, you can click Load a Tune, or Save a Tune, and then I click on my burn GTR1 and click Apply. And now I have not only my Tune, but I also have my livery applied. I have a settings video, I'll link it for you guys so you can kind of update and optimize your settings and that stuff. And I just saw that there might be a need for this video and I wanted to try and help out people who needed help because I've been there. I've done that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it explained everything well. And uh, if there's anything else you want guides on, let me know and I will get them out for you as quick as possible. All right, guys. Hope you have a good night, day, whatever time it is for you. And peace.